Your voice, your vote, midterm election year and campaigns are heating up. The state of Arizona is four days away now from primaries for its gubernatorial election. Arizona Secretary of State Katie Hobbs is up against business consultant Marco Lopez in the Democratic primary for governor. And Hobbs says she's running to restore women's rights in that battleground state in an op-ed for the Daily Beast. Uh, Ms. Hobbs shared that she had had a medical procedure she needed after a miscarriage that is now considered a crime in Arizona. And Secretary of State of Arizona Katie Hobbs joins us now. Uh, it's good to see you again. In your op-ed, I want to just read a line from it here. Uh, you write, quote, Republican candidates in Arizona are already calling for a ban on contraception and promising to make sure Arizona is the most pro-life state in the union. What do Arizona voters want? And what kind of response did you have to your op-ed? Well, we certainly have talked to Arizonans across the state who are very concerned about continued access to safe and legal abortion in our state. It is rising to the top of the list of issues that people are voting on in this midterm. Um, and especially when you contrast with my Republican opponents who have both called women who get abortions murderers. They have um, support the complete criminalization of abortion and uh, go farther than the current law, um, not just criminalizing providers, but criminalizing women who seek abortion. Uh, this is the new normal in Arizona. And I think from what I'm hearing from voters, they're not going to stand for it. Uh, and um, and this is an issue they're going to be voting on in November. Uh, and it is since the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade front and center in so many races. And I wonder if the reproductive rights of women and, and other people who don't choose to identify as women who get pregnant, if these rights were not at risk, would you be running for Arizona governor? Absolutely. I'm in this race because Arizonans want leaders who are going to get to work tackling the real issues that we're facing. If it's not uh, continued access to safe and legal abortion, it's fixing our failing education system, addressing our state's water crisis, uh, and moving on from the 2020 election, which uh, nobody wants to do more than I do. But the Republicans are continuing to run on overturning the 2020 election. And if you win the Democratic primary, I guess the, the way things work there, uh, you're either going to be up against Carrie Lake, she's endorsed by former President Donald Trump, or uh, Karen Robson, she's endorsed by former Vice President Mike Pence. That's interesting to watch on that side of the ballot. And the Arizona Democratic Party is playing one of these games that they're playing in a, in a bunch of states, right? So the Democratic Party in Arizona is expressing gratitude to Karen Robin, Robson, a Republican, in a statement saying he will always be grateful for her longtime support in helping elect Democrats up and down the ballot. So this is one of those situations where Democrats are trying to pick their opponent, right? Strategy here to help push Trump's endorsed candidate, Kerry Lake, who uh, you know people think might be easier to beat. And, and couldn't this backfire? Look, a press release is not a campaign strategy. A press release is not going to win or lose or make or break someone's campaign. And it's nothing compared to the the kind of um, resources they've done in, in Maryland and Pennsylvania and other states uh, where they've actively played in the in the governor's race. That is not what's happening here. And I'm 100 percent confident in my ability to beat either one of these Republicans who have shown that they are so far out of the mainstream. Um, they're losing support from everyday Arizonans. Uh, and uh, I just want to follow up with Carrie Lake. She's made these false claims that uh, the 2020 election was stolen. You were right in the middle of that in one of the crucial mm -hmm. states. But I guess the, the law in Arizona, if, if, if she is your opponent, is this something you're concerned about? Uh, look, elections in Arizona are fair and secure. Um, there, I could spend hours talking about the multiple layers of security that are in place. But I'll just say this. I took an oath of office to uphold the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution and laws of the state of Arizona. I have done that in executing my duties as Secretary of State and will con con continue to do that throughout this election in my job of overseeing the election. I, and I wonder, running as a Democrat at, at this time, these are tough times for Democrats. Uh, President Biden is, you know, he's underwater in the polls in this Raging inflation has people uh, really upset, anxious about every week's meeting, meeting the bills that they have to pay. How does that impact your, your race in Arizona? Do you think you're at a disadvantage as a Democrat 
uh, because Democrats right now are, are at the federal level getting the blame. Or how does it? How do you see? What are the important issues for voters, and how, how does your identity as a Democrat play into that? Well, I think certainly across the country, you're seeing um, state-level elected Democrats with off-the-chart approval ratings uh, that, and and they don't match what people are seeing with Biden. And I think voters have this cognizant understanding of the fact that we need leaders at the state level to get the things done that Congress and the and the White House isn't doing, um, like issues like affordability. Um, the president isn't acting quickly enough to address inflation, to head off a recession. Um, but we can do things at the state level. And we have a plan to do that, to make things more affordable for Arizonans. That's one of the top issues that we're seeing. Um, and we are also not seeing the enthusiasm gap in our polling in Arizona. Uh, and uh, polling on the general election has me beating both of the Republicans. So we're going to keep working to earn every single vote and prove that I'm the leader Arizona needs right now. All right. Well, Katie Hobbs, we thank you for joining us, taking time out of your schedule. Uh, to be with us, talk about this important race. We should say we did reach out to your challengers, invite them on the show. We haven't heard back, but we, we have an open door, and we thank Katie Hobbs uh, in that important race to talk, uh, for talking with us. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.